Hello everyone, welcome back to BISP Solutions. Today I came up with the other method of recognizing revenue. So our next method is straight line prorate first and last period. So this method amortizes equal amounts for periods other than the first and final period regardless of the number of days in each period. So, in the first and last month, we are prorating this on the basis of number of days. And for the rest of the months, we are allocating evenly. So, here you can see, in the month of November and March, we have proportioned the amount on the basis of number of days. So, this is the total amount into 10, that is number of days, and divided by 121 overall days. Okay. In the same case with the November, uh, March, so total amount that is 160,000 into 20 days divided by 121. And remaining amount distributed over the three months, that is December, January and February. So here you can see November and March total is uh, 39,669 and our total total amount is 1,60,000. 1,60,000 minus this amount, November and March amount. So, remaining amount is 1,20,331. So, what we did, this amount divided by 3 months, that is for January, February and March. Here, we have evenly distributed the amount. Now, let's see how can we do this in the net with application. Let's create one sales order. Let's select customer name. Now select the item. In this case, I have selected this item, Mobile Redmi 301. Okay. Now, you have to mention the revenue recognition start date and end date. So, here I am giving today's date as a start date and end date 20th of March. Okay, here we are recognizing revenue for 5 months. Save the sales order. Approve this. Okay. Now come to the related records here. Now we need to manually update the revenue recognition arrangement and plans.
enter today's date update revenue arrangements update revenue plans now come back to the sales order page again deleted record sub tab it is not updating reload this okay now let's open this to view the plan this is the revenue arrangement page now let's review the plan revenue recognition plan actual one now here you can see document number 10736 then revenue recognition plan rr underscore fl i will show you this which plan we have used Here we have used a straight line prorate first and last period recognition method. Okay, and our rule name is RR underscore FL. RR underscore FL, where we have used the method straight line prorate first and last period. All right, then we have any recognition start date and end date amount one lakh sixty thousand. Then item name mobile Redmi three zero one. Then remaining. Default balance one lakh sixty thousand. Totally recognized is zero because we haven't recognized yet. Now here you can see it is now these amounts are bifurcated over five months. Now here you can see that whatever the calculation we did, here is the amount for all the months for the month of November one three two two three, and for December January and February amount is four forty thousand one one zero. Forty thousand one one zero for the three months, and for the month of March twenty six four forty six, so twenty six four forty six. Okay. Now let's go back. Now let's fulfill this order. Enter the location of inventory and fulfill this order. Now create the bill. Let's save this. Now let's go to the balance sheet, financial statements, reports, financial balance sheet. Let's refresh this. Open default revenue. Default revenue. Now we have created invoice for rupees one lakh sixty thousand. Our customer name is Aisha Limited. Okay, so one lakh sixty thousand we booked default revenue. Now we need to recognize the revenue for this. For that, 
over to transaction financial and schedule revenue recognition journal entries run now for the month of november uh, customer name is aisha limited revenue recognition rule rr underscore fl amount for the month of november 13 to 23 now let's check this box approve the journal from here and create journal entries it is in progress let's refresh this again completed now come back to the balance sheet refresh this and here you can see we have reversed the amount of 13223 for the month of november out of this 160000 okay now if you want to see the gl impact for invoice and deferred revenue let's see that now at the time of invoice entry would be accounts receivable account debit to deferred revenue and here we have reversed the deferred revenue by rupees 13223 in the month of november and we booked the revenue of rupees 13223 in the month of november so this is how we can use the another method that is straight line pro rate first and last period okay that's all for today thank you